there are some special relationships in number systems that I'd like to point out. And one of those is a relationship between base 10 to binary. Now we have shown you how to use the ladder technique to take a number in base 10 and convert it into base 2. This works for all bases. You divide the base into the number until you get a quotient of 0. You take the remainder and find the number that you're looking for. There's another way to accomplish this same goal. What you do is you lay out a positional table showing the sequence of 2 to the power of 0 all the way up to but not exceeding the number. And that's what I've done here except for I have exceeded the number by two spots. So we will not be using these two spots. What we have to ask ourselves is what is the largest number that will go into our number without going over? And so what we're going to do is we're going to look to the highest value. 128 is too large because it goes over. And then we find 64 and it does go into 1, 2, 3. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put a 1 beneath that in our positional table. Next, we're going to subtract 64 from 123 and get 59. So what we're going to ask ourselves is, what is the largest number that goes into 59 without going over? And that would be 32. We put in 1 beneath that, and then we subtract 32 from 59, and we get 27. What is the largest number? 16. We put a 1 underneath that, subtract that from 27, and get 11. And then we say, what is the largest number without going over? That would be 8. And when we subtract that, we get 3. What is the largest number without going over? It would not be 4 because 4 is larger than 3. So we would say 2. We subtract 2 from that and place a 1 underneath the 2's position. And then lastly, we have to get rid of that 1. We put a 1 there in the 1's position and we get 0. The last step is any number that we did not use, which would be the 4. We put a 0 in and voila, we have 123 in base 2 which is 111011, and we get that from our positional chart of 1111011. Let's do this one more time, this time with an easier number that doesn't require quite so much math or putting ones in positions, and that number is 40. I've written out my positional chart, 2 to the power of 0 all the way to 2 to the power of 8. I won't need that many slots because all we have to do is ask ourselves, what number will go into 40 without going over? And that, of course, is 32, or 2 to the power of 5. And so we put a 1 underneath that slot. We subtract that from 40, and we get 8. And so we say, what number will go into 8 without going over? And that is 8. So 8 minus 8 is going to be a 0. And we put a 1 underneath the 8's position. And now that we have 0, we can put a 0 in the rest of the slots that we did not use. And so that would be in the 16, 4, 2, 1, or 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, and 2 to the power of 4. And so 40 in base 2 is 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. And we can see we got that from our positional table. So because decimal and binary have a special relationship, we can use the positional table instead of the latter technique to convert decimal to binary. And for small binary numbers, this is a very convenient way to convert into binary.